Open the box, take out the toolbox. Toolbox strap. Buckle the strap to easily climb for construction. Bench. Operating instructions. Fusion splicer. Pull out the right drawer. Fiber cleaver. Fiber cleaving platform. Spare electrodes. Alcohol bottle. Hexagonal wrench. Snap chain key. 9-in-1 signal fire stripper. Power adapter. Fusion splicer hand strap. Brush. Button introduction. Fiber splicing process. Put on the heat shrink tube. Stripping the fiber cladding. Wipe the optical fiber with alcohol. Cleave the optical fiber. Put the fiber on the fiber holder. The method of the fiber putting on the fiber holder. The coating layer cannot exceed the clamp. The fiber end face need to exceed the v-groove and should be close to the electrode tips, but does not exceed the electrode tip. When the machine lid closing, the fiber will auto splice. Automatic detection of the optical fiber end angle. Estimated splicing loss will show on screen when the splice is successful. Heat shrink tube heating. Open the cooling tray and heating oven. Move the heat shrink tube to protect the, the bare fiber splicing point. Automatic closing of the cover after put the fiber on the heater. The indicator light comes on and the heating is turned on. When the ambient temperature changes greatly, the heating time can be changed through the APP. The indicator light goes out, and the heating is completed. Take out the optical fiber, and put it into the cooling tray. Visual fault locator and optical power meter. The left side integrates visual fault locator and optical power functions, which can measure splicing loss and switch measurement parameters with one button. Charging method. 7800 Ma lithium battery. High power charger. Two charging ports. Three charging methods. And ultra long battery life. Signal fire fiber stripper. Fiber drop cable. Optical cable. Insert 2 mm regular fiber drop cable guiding port. Peel off the jacket. Stripping coating. Clean the fiber. The jaws of the pliers for fiber drop cable load-bearing wires will curl when the load-bearing wire is cut, but it does not affect the use. It is also strictly forbidden to directly cut fiber drop cable or other wires. Fiber jumper cable. Maximum Miller jaws to remove the outside jacket. The front scissors cut the Kevlar fiber. This jaw is dedicated to Kevlar and cannot be used for other cutting. Medium jaws to remove the white jacket. Scrape off the coating. Wipe the optical fiber. Otten swabs. Rotating cleaning cotton rod can easily remove the dirt. Cleaning cotton rod can be replaced. Cleave the fiber. Nake optical fiber. The fiber coating stripping point is placed within 15 millimeters of the clamping plate scale and the front end of the fiber extends beyond the right fiber pressing plate. Fiber drop cable. The fiber drop cable jacket end face is against the splint stop clamping plate edge. The fiber end face need to exceed the right press plate. Fiber jumper cable. The white jacket is placed within 15 millimeters of the splint scale. The fiber end face need to exceed the right press plate. After closing the cover, Push the blade holder outwards, and the fiber cleaving is completed. Signal Fire 2. Download APP. Get permissions. No pairing required from Bluetooth. Click the machine serial number to connect to Bluetooth directly in a PP. APP Introduction. Language Selection. Supports English, Spanish, and other languages. Splicing setting. 
you can turn the fiber splicer function on and off, and set parameters. Read records. Records can be exported and uploaded. Learning operation. There are operating instructions, such as discharge calibration. For new machines and large changes in external environment, discharge calibration is required to achieve the best splicing state. System upgrade. The machine has daily software updates and firmware upgrades. Please stay tuned and update in time to ensure that the machine is in the most advanced state.